If you need to reach past Michael, myself, Lady T, or you need to set up an appointment, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have a need for a special prayer, please make your prayer request at www.victoryworldprayerrequest at gmail.com or you can go to our website www.victoryworldchurch.org and hit the prayer request tab and it will go directly to our pastor and we will pray with and for you. As always, keep our pastors and leaders in your prayers. Our prayers are purposeless. Our Victory Word Church family Pastor D.L. and First Lady Harvell and New Life Ministries Worldwide, the Spiritual Church and its Army, Pastor Remarco and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Minister April Pittman, Bishop Leonard Gardner and family, Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith, and the Zion Hill Baptist Church, Pastor James and First Lady Reigns, and the Ecclesia Christian Ministries, Pastor Dorian and Lady Morrison and Higher Praise Worship Center. Pastor James and First Lady Minnick and the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, Brother MJ Oliver, our brother Claudia Oliver, our grandfather Bishop Tillman Oliver, Minister LaRue Clay, Bonnie Brown, Pastor James Marks and family and our Victory Red Church located in the country of India. Pastor Daniel Mose and family and our Victory Red Church located in the country of Kenya. Sister Angie Cheetah. We celebrate your birthday today. God bless her. Amen. Sister Sharon Mack, Alana Thompson, Billy and Lot and family, Minister Carol Pitts, the Gibbs and Yarbrough family, Minister Steve Donaldson, Sister Millicent Donaldson, uh, Detroit Police and Fire Departments, all of the school systems and students at all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special, special prayer for the sick, the shut in, and the bereaved. Again, if you have anyone to add to our prayers and purposes, let's just give us a call on the office phone at 313-243-4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. Amen. amen. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. 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 Put those Hallelujah. Hands together.
metropolitan areas still flooding is going on around the city and every time we clear up it comes again but by the grace of God we're still we're still praising him because he's outstanding and we thank God for all that he's doing I'm excited this morning Pastor, I'm glad you asked I have the opportunity for my mother to be in worship with us in our worship service today and y'all are with us on this morning, we thank God and praise God for her. Victory yes. word, look, you better praise him every chance you get. Yes. And, and today, I need I need you to to push. Yeah. I need you to push. I, I want you to yes. write, but I need you to say an amen. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Uh, there, there's the Dr. Hall, Dr. Todd Hall, he teaches, he said, closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah. I, I need you to open up your mouth and yes. just say, Lord, Thank you thank just you. for yes. one more day. Yes. Why yes. have anyone yes. been faithful yes. in this yes. room today? Yes. And he blessed you and kept you yes. even though he was going crazy. Yes. Do, do I just have one person yes. that can yes. say amen? Yes. And he is still Amen. Yes, he is. Yes. Go with me in prayer this morning. Most gracious Father, we come to you in this setting, Lord, saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, we thank you because not only are you God, but you are our Father, yes. and holy is your name. Yes. Father, we thank you for what could have happened and what should have happened. And, but most of all, we thank you for what didn't happen. Yes. Lord God, you've been merciful. You've been so graceful towards us. And so, Father, we just want to praise you this morning. Yes. And we want to say thank you here in the sanctuary. Yes. Lord, bless those that may not be here physically that are tuning in all across the country and maybe even around the world. Yes. Lord, we just bless your name and say thank you. We magnify your name and we glorify you in this place. And so now, dear Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, my strength and my redeemer. Yes, that is my prayer this morning, and it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Well, Victory Word, I told you last week, you know, I'm an old school preacher. And uh, there was a lady teach, she's like, you know, you got all your tablets and you don't have to use them. So I try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use it today. So <laughs> But if it don't work out, I got my back up. I'm already down. <laughs> some things I still didn't get a chance to put in because he gave me some other things this morning, so I wrote it down. Amen. 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 Uh, 
few words before we get started. I, I just need you to understand the significance, and not only that, but the importance of your praise. Yeah. Yeah. When you praise God, what you are saying is, Lord, no matter what's going on around me, I still have my focus on you. All right, all right. We right. as believers have to focus on God because when we focus on him, we take our mind and our eyes off of the situation and things that's going on around us. All right. And All trust right. you me, there's a lot of things going on yes. around yes. us. God. And if we're not careful, what's going on around us will right. get in us. Come on now. And if Come it on. gets in us, then it might change us. Yeah. And we right. don't ever want our minds to change on how our God has blessed us. Amen. Go with me Amen. to the book of Psalm 37. We're starting at the third verse. It reads, Trust in the Lord and do good. Reading from the NIV translation. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take the light of the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Somebody ought to shout. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He uh -huh. will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn. Your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Yes. If you were, I just want to preach for a few moments, then you can go home and enjoy the rest of your day. I just want to preach for a few moments on the sermon topic, when next seems like forever. Lord, Lord, Lord. Amen. Lord, when, when, right. when next seems yes. like forever. I'm going to need y'all to push on, me bring, today. Bring, bring, bring. Uh, yes, uh, when, yes. when, when next seems some of us feel like, when is our blessing going to come? All right, I've, all right. been, I've been working on this. I've been trying to do on, this and, and I, I, it ain't happened yet uh, uh, but can, can I go into the message bible just for a second yes, sir, because yes, I want you to, to, to focus on this verse uh, 7 where it says quiet down before God Yeah, this is how it says in the message be prayerful before him don't bother with those who climb the ladder whose elbow they, who elbow their way to the top Brighten your anger, trash your wrath, cool your pipes. It's only making things worse. Before long, the crooks will be bankrupt. <laughs> God's investors will soon own the store. I I'm here to give somebody some hope today okay. that your forever ain't forever. Yeah, I I'm right. here Amen. to tell you Amen. this morning that, that there's some things that you got to wait and be patient yes, on. And, and so, Pastor, what is patience? Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay Ooh, right. Jesus. or suffering without getting angry or upset. Mm. Lord have mercy. Well, not... It's going to be a quiet service today. Well, I see. Not... I just need you to push me just a little bit. Uh, patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay. Is there anyone in this room that has the capacity to understand that just because it ain't got here yet, that doesn't mean you ain't going to get it? It says the, the capacity to deal with delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. How many in here can go through suffering and not get upset? Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, Lord. Amen. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, yes. uh, why? I know you're asking this question. Why does God want us to be patient? I'm glad you asked. Uh, God wants to pr produce patience in us to slow us down. Right, all right. <clears throat> and to show us how to trust in Him. That's right. Uh, somebody in here don't know how to slow down. All right. <laughs> Mercy Lord. And so God sometimes oh, allows things to happen to slow you down. That's right. 
and to let you know that in all of your book smart, you still got to trust him. No matter how many degrees is on your wall, he is still the thermostat for the temperature. Uh, someone needs to understand that if it had not been for the Lord, yes, God, yes, God, come on, God. Oh, Lord, who is on my side? Is there anybody in here that knows that God is on your side? Yes, yes, yes. Amen. See, God does not test us just for the sake of testing us, but He tests us to teach us to walk in His way and to trust Him. Right, right. So most of us that are believers and can't deal with what's going on around us or that's going on in us or is always complaining, I'm talking to believers now. I'm not talking to people who don't believe. All right. I'm talking to the believers. Whenever you keep, whenever you get uh, to the place of complaining all the time, that tells pastor that you have trust issues. Wow. All right. Oh my All right. God. All right. Yeah, see, you All have right. trust issues Jesus. when you can't trust them just because you can't see them. Okay. Come on. See, you can't trust them because of situations going on around you. This may not be right. That may not be right. All of that. But when you don't have trust issues, you trust them in spite of what's going on. Come on. Come on. You trust them just because he is who he said he is. You trust him because he brought you from a mighty long way. You trust him because he is God. You trust him because not only is he God, but he is my father. I trust him because he woke me and helped me, somebody. He woke me up this morning, as the old saint said. That helps us get our thoughts back in order and our feelings under control. All right. All right. I'll say that again. Patience is the pause that helps us get our thoughts back in order and our feelings under control. Have you ever been in a situation or a circumstance where you really wanted to say something but God caught you? Yes, 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 yes. 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 He caught yes. you yes, God. and gave you time to get your thoughts back in order <laughs> and your feelings under well, control. Because a lot of times we say things out of our feelings right. mm -hmm. and we have to get our, 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 our equilibrium back together. Uh -huh. And so God gives us this thing called patience uh -huh. to pause us. Some of you need a good pause right now. Yes, God. Yes. Right. If it wasn't for the pause, you might have done some things you would regret, regret later on. Yes, yes, God. See, in the, in the text, it says, trust in the Lord and do good. Yes. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Uh, uh, when you're trusting God, you're in a safe place. All right, right. You're in a safe place. Yes. And many times we're not in a safe place because we get outside of God's safety zone. Right. When you get outside of God's safety zone, what you're saying is that I'm going to do it my way. Right. Right. And when you decide to do it your way, mm -hmm. your way gets messed up. And right. then you get in your own way. Right. 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 See, patience, it, 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 it gives us the persistence to carry out things that will lead us to a long-term goal and helps us realize that success will come to those who keep trying. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Who keep doing what? Trying. 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 What am I trying to do? I'm trying to fall in line with God's word because when I'm outside of the word, I tend to find myself being more crazy dealing with my feelings and my emotions. Right. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yes, so anytime I fall outside of God's word, then it leads me to my own understanding. And Proverbs tells me, lean not to my own understanding. But in all my ways, what am I supposed to do? Acknowledge 
<laughs> in all my ways, right. even in my crazy, crazy ways, ways. Right. even in my broken ways, yes. even though I'm a, a hot mess, I'm towed up from the flow up. I right. still need yeah. to acknowledge God. Acknowledge yes. Right. Yes. God. Right. Amen. Why do we need patience? Because patience helps us make better decisions. That's true. Amen. So as long as you're patiently waiting, mm -hmm. then your next doesn't seem like forever. All right. When you're patiently waiting, you understand that God is going to do it in perfect time. Yes. Right. See, there's some things that you and I do that may be good for us, but our timing is terrible. Right, 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 right. 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 Have you ever seen somebody who couldn't dance? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> their, their, their steps was yeah, off. No. They, they didn't have no rhythm. That's the truth. They, they couldn't right. quite. They was doing the right move, but the rhythm right. was wrong. I'm here to tell you spiritually, some of you are doing the right things, but your rhythm is wrong. All right. All right. Your, your timing is yeah, bad. Right. You have to get in the timing of God. The, 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 the cadence is wrong. Sometimes you have the right word, but you say it at the wrong time. Right. You have to understand when God, when, when, when God is, is truly, when you're truly in tune with yeah. him, he will tell you when to say it. Right. You already know what to say, right. but sometimes your time and when to say it. It's just not right. Amen. 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 Patience helps preserve our relationship our relationships with those that we love and care about. Well, when you truly love somebody, you give them a second chance, right. a third chance. You know, some of y'all that gave y'all kids a home. Uh, just chance after chance, praying that they gonna get it. They, they gonna get it. They gonna get it. Wait, I say, oh my Lord. Jesus, take right. Patience shows your loved one that you value them and your relationship enough to see beyond their faults. Amen. Amen. That's when you have patience, it allows you to see beyond what you see with your eyes. Right. And right. when you no longer start having sight, you start having vision. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 When you have vision, you can see beyond faults and see needs. Right. right. All right. Mm -hmm. You will right. know when you should speak, when you shouldn't speak, when right. you need right. to be more firm, and when you need to lay off stuff. Right. right. Because forever is based upon what you are doing in your now. Uh -huh. right. What do you mean, Pastor? Right. If you always complain, then your forever is always going to be complaints. That's right. In your forever. Well... If you always, always, always negative, you will forever, forever, forever miss out on your blessing. Yes. Right. Ash, and I'm going to ask you this question. I'm going to say a question that you ask, but you don't say out loud. All right. Why does God's promises take so long. <laughs> well, I know you said that. Don't look at me like you ain't nervous. <laughs> all right. That's all right. Why does God's promises take so long? Amen. Because he is building our faith and our endurance levels. That's all right. God promised Abraham that he would deliver his descendants from slavery, which he did by taking them the long route. It allowed him to build up these things. Tenacity, capacity, endurance, trust, and faith in him. Sometimes God takes you the long way to build your inner man to be able to deal with such things called a pandemic. God built us to make it through this. And sometimes you have to go through something to understand that God is in control. Yes, right. yes, right. yes. Right. yes. Right. So, Victory Word, although we are going, going through, through we are not through going. Yes. And yes. because we are not through going, 
He has taken us the long route, some of us in our lives, to build up our tenacity, to get into a fight with the devil and don't give up. That takes tenacity. To go through some situations and circumstances that you didn't bring on yourself, it just called life happens. And when life happened, you didn't give up on God because life showed up. Right. Amen. That's the next endurance. Amen. Being able to endure situations, endure your broke time, yes. endure your no yes. money time. Yes. Being able to endure it and still say, I'm not broke, I'm just in between blessings. Right. I, I, I'm Amen. not messed Amen. up, I got a messed up situation. Right. Right. I'm going through that show some endurance, trust. Lord, I can trust you even when I can't trace you. I, I don't trust Amen. you, Lord. Yes. I'm going to yes. trust you. Yes. All yes. folks used to sing the song, I want to trust. In the Lord. Yes. And then it says, and faith, and faith, and faith. And now faith is the substance yes. Yes. of things hoped for. Evidence yes. of things not seen. Not seen. My, my, my. Sometimes, victory word, the weight is more about experiencing God than enduring the delay. All right. Sometimes it's not about where he's taking you. It's about the relationship you have with him. Have any of you took the time out to examine your relationship with God, not where you want him to take you? Mm. Oh my. Come on now. It's quiet in the end. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Waiting on God's timing is hard, yet God's timing is always perfect. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting on God's plans requires patience and faith. Mm -hmm. Waiting is hard, but the wait has a purpose. Number one, prayer. In your waiting, you need to pray. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because prayer, it helps build your spiritual life. Mm -hmm. All right. In other words, you need to pray just by saying, Lord, thank you. Yes, right. It don't have to be a lot of words. Amen. It just has to have a lot of feeling. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of sincerity right. in your spirit. To say, Lord, I know, I know I keep messing up, God, hmm. but I still thank you for another change. Yes, God. Thank Lord, you. I know I haven't done all that I should do, but I'm still thanking you because you blessed you blessed me in spite of me. Right. right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Waiting is hard, but the wait has a purpose. It has a purpose. Number two, reading the word. Studying the word of God. There's some time you need to take to study God's word. Because the more and more you study his word, the more and more you find out about you. Well, all right. All right. All right. A lot of times we don't do the studying because we don't want to find out anything else about us. <laughs> wow. But the more you look into his word, the more and more you should see yourself. Mm. All right. I want you to write this down. Surrender to the process. Surrender to the process. This, this is what we do while we're in while we're waiting and having patience. We are learning how to surrender to the process. This is what you need to do. Stop resisting what God is using to restore you. There's some things that we resist, and God is using that very thing that we resist to build you, to grow your character in him. Stop resisting what God is using to restore you. Consider the lessons that you learn in waiting. All right. All right. And I want you to write this down. Focus on the blessings, not the blocking. Mm -hmm. right. Focus on the blessings, not the blocking. There are some things that get in your way, and we waste our time worrying about what's blocking us instead of focusing on the blessing on the other side of the block. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I would have went crazy. Yes, right. God. Amen. But by the grace of God. Yes, yes, God. I started looking at the blessing and stopped looking at what was blocking me. My right, health right. might not be the best, but I can still wake up in the morning. Yes, yes, yes God. Thank yes, you. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. I may not have a big car, but I have a car. Yes, yes, yes. I may not be able to go everywhere, but I can go somewhere. Yes. yes. I ought to just thank God for what He has offered. Is there anybody in this room today that can just thank Him for what He brought you from? Not where He's taking you to, but where He when I speak to the goodness of God and all that He's done, my soul cries. in your coming in. Yes, God, yes, and yes, acknowledge him in your yes, rising up. Yes, acknowledge him in your lying down. Yes, yes, if it had not been for the Lord yes, on my side, yes, God, yes, God. I don't know what I would. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Worship him. Yes. Acknowledge him. Yes. The I. Invite him in. Yes. Whatever situation you're going through, you better invite God in because he's not going to break in. Right. Right. Amen. You got to invite him in. Yes. Lord, I need you. Yes. Yes. Lord, I need yes. you right now. Yes. Lord, take over this situation. Yes. Lord, yes. I'm calling on you because I need you right now. Yes. I need you, Lord, yes. in my household. Yes. I need you on my job, yes. Lord. with the lack of love yes. because I know you're going to give overflow. Yes. I trust you when I'm sleeping, God. I, I trust you when I'm driving down the street. I, I, I trust you when I'm feeling bad. I, I trust you when I'm feeling good. I, I, I trust you when I can't feel you, Lord. I still want to trust you. And, Lord, I have to trust you because I've trusted in so many things that let me down, but Lord, you've never let me down and you never let me go and always held my hand and yeah. you always wipe tears from my eyes and yeah. Lord, I just trust you. Yeah. I just trust you. Yeah. Is there anybody in the room that just trust you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
And let me just say this to you, Victor, before, before God gives you the desires of your heart, God will teach you the truth about blessings. And the Hebrew word for blessing means an increase. When we bless God, it is his presence that increases in us. Yes. Let me yes. say that again. When you bless God, it is his presence that increases in us. When we honor him, we acknowledge how he, in fact, blesses us. It points to the increase of his goodness in our lives. All right. All right. Write this down. Your focus determines your reality. Amen. Whatever Amen. you're focusing on, if you're focusing on things never getting right, it ain't never going to get right. right. If you're focusing on the negative, the negative is always going to show up right. because your focus determines your reality. Come on now. Come on. Yes. Right. Amen. Wow. Amen. This is long, but if you can write it down, write it down. If not, uh, just, just go back and watch the video. Success will require doing things which don't give us momentary pleasure, but benefit us in the long run. All right. If we can all try to master that, we will experience success in abundance. Mm -hmm. Say it again, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Success will require doing things which don't give us momentary pleasure. There are some things if you want to do that you have to do in order to lose weight. And when you start doing them, don't think the change happens in 24 hours. Well, I just started. I, I'm eating right. I've been eating right all week. And you want to lose weight and it took you more than a week to gain. Right. Right. But we want God to do something supernaturally, and you don't want to do the work that it takes naturally. Right. right. Amen. Let me help someone in this room right I'm now. Help uh, 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 AP mm -hmm. <coughs> has lost significant weight. Right. Your pastor right. <laughs> ain't, ain't lost nothing. Right. <laughs> He's lost a few pounds. Very good. <laughs> but, but what we have to understand is the process. You're right. right. Amen. Come on. We want God to change things without taking us through the process. The process. Right. Mm -hmm. There is a process that you must go through, and that's why it's important to study your word, study God's people biblically, so to understand how does it work in the time that I'm living in, right. because there are certain principles that you all of us have to go through. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. This is very important, what I'm about to say to you right now. He can't protect you until he processes you. Right, right, right. right. Amen. Amen. My, my, my. You want protection and don't want to go through the process. That's true. That's true. There's a process. David had to go through the process. He was able to kill a lion and a bear. That's why he had the spirit to understand that he could kill Goliath. Right, right. In other words, it took something for him to do in stages for him to deal with the big stage. Right. All there right. are some things that you have to go through in stages because God really wants to know, can I trust you? Right, right, right. 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 Amen, amen. Can, can, can I trust you with finances? All right. All right. Can, what, what, what I, can, I, can I trust you to still be humble? Mm. Or are you going to be hellacious? <laughs> right. Because right. some people, when they get stuff, they think, it's gonna make them better. No, it only it only magnifies what you already are. Right, right. If you were a giver when you didn't have much, when you got more, you give still. Right, right. If you was a penny pinching, not no nothing giving, nothing, all you gonna do is take stuff for yourself. Right, amen, amen. That's true. Amen. And this is a hard one right here, Victory Word. I had to wrestle and chew with this all night long. Patience 
is seeing everything around you move mm. while you wait on God. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. We, 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 could, we, we, we could sing the closing song right there. Right there. Right. Patience is seeing everything around you move while you're waiting on God. There are some things in life you're just going to have to wait and understand that it's not your season. Exactly. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, Lord, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've been praying, fasting. I've been witnessing. And, he, and you can do all that. And watch people around you get blessed. Right. Right. And you're looking like, Lord, what about me? Right. I'm glad you asked. All right. All right. Uh, I've got two boys. One son, the youngest boy, Mark Jalen, don't grow didn't grow as fast as that other boy. Y'all know the other boy, <laughs> Michael Jr. He was swollen when he was born. Right. Just a big baby, big, just big. Came out, didn't even cry, didn't, didn't you know, <laughs> hit him. Didn't. I was trying to make sure he was had his senses, he, you know. <laughs> All right. So as he grew, boy, he just grew out of clothes, shoes, and could right. never keep nothing. You know, just right. hands. So my wife, Lady T, she never bought the clothes that fit him perfect. Why? And I'd be like, why are we not, why, 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 why is we getting big stuff? Because he growing. Right. By the time you get something that fit, he don't fit no more. Right. So you don't buy the clothes that, that fit. Say that again. Sister, <laughs> no, we can't do that. <laughs> so we can't do that. So... She would buy stuff a little bit bigger. Right. So as he grew, he could grow into, into it. it. Right. Somebody gonna catch this in a minute. Right. Yes, There's some blessings for you that God already has for you. Yes. That he has in his spiritual closet. Yes, 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 yes. And if you he's 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 waiting on your right. spiritual growth. Yes, yes. Because if he gives you something that fits you right now, yes. in a few moments up the road, it's going to be too small. Right. So stop settling for stuff that fits you right now yes. and start thanking God for what he's going to do for you yes. up the road. Yes. I need you to understand yes. that if you're patient now, your forever won't take forever. That's the blessings for someone in this room right now. And I'm just going to tell you this morning to be patient and wait on the Lord. He has so much in the fall. All you got to do is wait on your daddy and your mama to pull your blessing out of the closet for your glory. He has a breakthrough for you. All you have to do is be patient because you don't have to worry. God will do just what he said he would do. God will give you the desires of your heart after God has transformed your heart to desire him most of all. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Victory word, I'm done. Right. I'm done today. All right. I'm done. Amen. We thank God. Yes, yes. yes. We thank God. Amen. Because when your neck seems like forever, mm -hmm. it's because you don't have spiritual patience. Right. And once you learn to be patient, and while you're being patient, you wait. And you're waiting, you're worshiping him, you're acknowledging him, you're inviting him in, and you're trusting him. Yes. And as you're doing that, he's in the spiritual, he's in the spiritual seamstress wherever they go. And he's, 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 uh, he's stitching up, he's, he's designing you. 
blessing. Yes. And it's made for you. But he made it bigger than you because he wants you to grow into it. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. He just wants you to grow into it. Amen. So when things start fitting you too tight mm -hmm. in your spirit, man, mm -hmm. realize that God is about to grow you. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. He's right. about to move you out of what's making you tight, what's yeah. boxing yeah. you in, what's yeah. like stopping you from praising him, yeah. what's stopping you from worshiping him. Come when you now. start getting tight and you're worshiping and you're praying and you're mm -hmm. being thankful and you're doing all of those things and you're starting to look tight, I'm here to tell you Come that he's, get, he's getting a bigger outfit for yeah. you. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. We're trying to grow. We're trying Amen. to grow. Amen. Trying to grow. Amen. If there's one that would like to give their life back to Christ, Amen. this is your opportunity. Those that may be watching on our social media platforms right now, just pray this simple prayer with me. Lord, Lord, I'm a sinner. And I'm tired of waiting for them. So now I need you. I want to be a mirror image of you and the earth. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Lord, accept me back into your family. Father, I'm giving back to you what you gave me. And that is life. If you prayed that simple prayer, that's all it took for you to get back in God's family. Yeah. <laughs> I challenge you to just get into a Bible teaching church that will teach you about the true and living God and the realities of serving true and living God. And if that church is us here at the Victory Word Church, we teach that we are we are a judgment-free zone. Where we don't beat you up, we pick you up and we watch God lift you up. And if you'd like to be a part of our ministry, we don't ask you to walk down the aisle do any of those things. We just ask you to speak to one of the members. Any one of our members can bring you in. We thank God for you. If those are watching, would like to join or be a part of the fellowship, all you have to do is call our office at 313-243-4512. You'll be glad that you did. For Victory Word, we love you. We thank God for everyone that's here. We, we bless you. And whatever we can do, we're here for you. On behalf of myself, Lady T, AP, the whole staff here at Victory Word Church, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We ask everyone to stand to your feet. We're going home. It was another good day. Yes. Do you believe it was another good day? Yes. And have a bad yes. day. Yes. Let's go! Let's go.